Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mahmoud Sanchaban, and I'm here to present you a pressing issue that affects many lives, drug abuse. Drug abuse is a problem that doesn't discriminate, touching all walks of life. For me, it's not just a personal battle, but a societal one too. It's crucial to understand that drug abuse is often a cry for help, a result of deeper issues like stress, depression, or even trauma. Did you know that almost half of Nigeria's youth my age and above are into drug abuse? Let's take a moment to consider how drug abuse particularly impacts our youth, our young people, in the prime of their lives. A time for learning, growing, discovering who they are or what they want to be. Now, what's drug abuse? I know the first thing that comes to your mind is people smoking, drinking. And yes, it's true, but unfortunately, that's not the only part of drug abuse. A person taking two to four tablets of painkiller or Panadol or any medicine by overdose without the, doctor, without the doctor's prescription in order to have pleasurable effects or to make the body feel good or better after being sick is also part of drug abuse. However, drug abuse can derail this crucial period. It can hinder academic performance, making it tough to keep up with studies. It can also lead to risky behaviors resulting in accidents or illegal activities. It can strain relationships with friends, families, and families, leaving the young person feeling isolated. Furthermore, I would like to say drug abuse can have a long-time consequence, resulting in including mental health disorder and anxiety. And it can also lead to addiction, a battle that can last a lifetime. Allow me to please to tell you a story. An old friend of mine invited me to a party. He picked me up from my house. We got to the party. The moment he opened the door, what I saw in my own two eyes left me in shock. I saw children my age smoking, dancing, drinking, enjoying themselves. But to me, actually, they're just ruining their lives. So I got in, I sat down on the couch. My friend left me for like three minutes. He came back with two of his friends, offering me a smoke and a drink in a cup. But I said, no, thank you. Because I know if I start, that temptation would definitely come back to haunt me. So, a few minutes later, I called my friend to pick me up because the place was not for me. It was not meant for me. There's a saying that goes like this. Actually, it's my mom that used to say it to me. But I wish she was here to see me here today on this stage. But unfortunately, she's not due to some health issues. It, the saying goes like this. It's too late to cry when the head is being cut off, which simply means if we make a bad decision now, you will definitely regret it later on in the future. So let's all be vigilant. Let's all support our youth, our young ones, in making healthy choices. Let's educate ourselves and others about the dangers of drug abuse. Let's not stigmatize, but empathize and support. Lastly, I would like to say, if we can all hold our hands together and ignite, then we can surely make a difference. Once again, my name is Mahmoud Sanchaban. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. Thank <music> you.